Hope everyone's having an awesome day today. Um, I am doing well. And uh, I just want to go over some setups and a trade I took today. And uh, let's just get right into it. All right, so first uh, things first, we had Amazon. And Amazon was looking really nice. Uh, we kind of had like this mini downtrend here. Um, needs a little bit more test to be confirmed, but that was just the speculation. And then we are approaching this huge psychological level of 3550. And that is where I got my uh, key, micro key level. You can see that act as support and resistance the previous trading session. And that is exactly what I was aiming for. Um, yeah. So if we want to see it real quick, uh, I'm not sure what I would have done here. And here's the question of the day for you guys in this video. Uh, how would you have handled this situation? So I would have entered right at 931 as soon as we broke this 3550 level. Now we get this pullback here, which is a little bit concerning considering it's a 10 point pullback. Um, and for those with small accounts, I'm not sure if you can withstand that kind of pullback. So I'm curious as to what you would have done. Um, I'm guessing that what I would have done if I was around at my desk during this time was I probably would have entered here, stopped out here, somewhere around there, and then re-entered here as soon as I see VVM or buyer stepping in um, and taking it to my target of 3580, and we missed it by a point. But um, <clears throat> pri or the contracts moved $5 in our favor, so $500 per contract, which was huge. Um, so probably would have made back the loss, but I'm just curious on what you guys would have done for that. So let me know um, Moving right along is we have a B and B uh, Airbnb um, Another big name that everyone's been watching or talking about we had this nice 203.3 level We had earnings to back it up. We had this nice momentum So I was just speculating that we would have a continuation play which is exactly what happened um, The level I was looking at was 203.3. We had a little bit of uh, resistance around this 203, 203.3 level, so that's why I was looking to get in around there. And it ha worked out right away. Um, you can see that uh, as soon as we sort of touched this 203.3 level, we bounced off as a pullback, um, acted as support, and we hit the target pretty much almost immediately, the first target, that is. Um, I would have probably stayed in the trade if I didn't take profits simply because VWAP was holding us up. Um, I don't, you know, again, I don't look at five minute time or five minute. Uh, or sorry, one minute time frames when I trade. This is just for illustration purpose only. And then we would have hit our second target of 208, the 209 area. Um, so that would have been a cool, nice trade. Uh, the next trade I wanna go over is Snow, or Setup rather. Um, Snow was a good setup. We just opened up above um, our entry level of 365.79. So if that happens, um, I just don't take the trade. You know, there are other setups, no point um, of chasing or anything like that. The, the uh, <clears throat> thesis behind that was we're in this nice, Overall uptrend, up channel, um, speculating that we're gonna break out of it today, which we kind of did. We're still holding value above here. Um, and the micro Q level, you can see of uh, 365.79 um, with a multi RBNR, you can see on a one hour time frame just to get a clear sense of something like that. Um, and now we're kind of holding value above, which is super bullish. So it could be a very nice uh, swing play if you're in it. Um, that's something I have to work on. I <laughs> would have loved to be in this as a swing play. Uh, coin was the next setup I was looking at. Um, in pre-market um, and it working out beautifully um, the level I got was 346 simply because it was uh, above the supply level that we had here it was acts as uh, resistance we have a nice up channel uptrend channel here um, and you can see that on a one minute time frame again illustration purposes only we acted as support here uh, we gapped up above supply and supply became demand this is a perfect perfect example of that um, we double bottomed at this uh, 346 level you could have held on and waited for this 350 pop um, or taking profits at the 350. Um, again, would have been a little bit difficult for me to play um, simply because I'm not used to this kind of trading. I like to just take the breakouts of the key levels, um, but definitely an interesting trade. I know that some people got in on this 350 pop. The way I would have played this 350 pop, um, if I missed it, it, was I would have waited for the pullback of this 350 test, see that buyers are there confirming this breakout of 350, and then we would have had a nice ride, and now we're rallying pretty hard. Um, and Bitcoin is backing this name up. So this would have been a beautiful trade. Um, yeah, so this would have been a beautiful confirmation here. You can kind of see that, uh, yeah. So we wouldn't have, we didn't get the immediate follow through that I wanted, which is what half the issue was, but um, that's how I would have played this name. All right, and then AMD to finish up here. Just going uh, quick as possible, so not to bore you guys, um, but please let me know if you want any, you know, more in-depth videos. Um, but anyway, let's just get into it. Uh, AMD, Another nice level here. We have a strong bullish uptrend here. Speculating that we're going to be creating a RBNR daily, daily RBNR daily demand here. 
Um, and uh, the way to play AMD or any of these names like this um, that I'm market dependent is to make sure we have a strong market. So I needed NQ to be strong here. Um, and the key level that I was looking at was 139.5-ish. Um, and you can see that we had previous support and resistance in the previous trading session. And uh, it would have been a, a nice play. I was, again, I wasn't at my desk because I was in class, but um, you can see that um, I would have taken the traders at 931 as soon as we broke this level. Um, if I got faked out, um, I would have re-entered on the next candle, seeing that buyers stepped right back in. Um, and the reason why I would have maybe gotten stopped out is because I like to see the trades work out immediately. Because um, who knows, this thing could have tanked, but I would have gotten right back in, seeing that buyers are present and we see this push up. Um, not the continuation that I would have wanted to see, but nonetheless continuation. And then here's the trade I took because I was at my desk. And an unusual trade, but something that I've been getting really good at um, is these intraday setups. And uh, yeah, so we had this <clears throat> a bunch of confirmations here to take this trade, which I was super impressed with. Um, I thought I missed it, and then I said, oh, wait, there's another entry coming. Um, so you don't have to catch the whole piece, just a piece of it, right? Um, Oh my goodness, and AMD is just absolutely rallying now, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, we had this five minute demand here that you could see. I don't normally play these five minute intraday demands, but it just added extra confirmation. We were, con But it corresponded exactly with VWAP. Um, so it's an A plus setup right there and then. You can see that uh, buyers were kind of gaining momentum here. It's still not the best volume I wanted to see, but um, nonetheless, still pretty good. We had NQ um, bouncing off of demand. So pretend there's like a demand zone here. Um, and NQ was up here when I entered, um, and we're kind of bouncing around uh, VWAP, trying to hold value above, and now we're having relative strength on AMD, which was huge. I entered on my favorite rocket ship technique, which I love to use. Basically, it shows that um, sellers kind of push this price back down, and then buyers stepped in immediately. That's what this lower wick is for. And as soon as I saw that, I entered, and I wanted to wait for the uh, 142.09 all-time high break for this premium spike. So what I did was I entered uh, the contracts at 260, set a limit sell at three and just waited for a fish to bite as soon as we got this premium spike above uh, all time high and I got filled immediately and you can see that little pullback um, because of that. Um, and I got filled at three, which was beautiful. Um, and uh, unfortunately, if I had a runner, it would have been a huge win because I'm so scared to look at what contracts are at right now, but up here they were at eight, <laughs> um, uh, which is absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, unfortunate. But uh, overall, a good trade on my end. Super happy um, with the day. And I hope you guys learned something. And thank you so much for watching.